Hello, my name is John Anzarello, and I am the individual behind the Cars and Cameras YouTube page. As you could probably tell by the video title, this video is centered on a very controversial topic. What I'm doing is assessing which is better for the environment right now. Buying a new hybrid such as a Toyota Prius, or buying an older diesel vehicle such as a Ford Excursion and fueling it using recycled vegetable oil. I will also study the other differences in the two types of automobiles, such as initial and long-term costs, and how the driving experience differs from that of a conventional gasoline-powered vehicle. I interviewed two individuals at Pacelli's Toyota in Washington, North Carolina. The first was Michelle Edwards, who manages all things online at the dealerships. Most of the buyers, especially in this area, um, are looking for gas mileage. They want improved gas mileage. and then. That filters over into, you know, once they realize they can save that much money on gas, they feel like they're helping the environment, so it turns into the whole green thing. It takes on average about five years to make up for the additional cost of the hybrid to offset the savings that they're getting on gas. So we always ask first, why do you want a hybrid? Why is it, why is it important to you? If it's only fuel economy and we know it's going to be out of their budget, then you know, we may try and switch them to a gas because, you know, it's all about them and what's important to them. Living in the South, where the green movement isn't exactly popular, I wasn't very surprised to hear that most people looking to buy a hybrid aren't so concerned with the environment as they are with getting better fuel mileage. I did learn that many people who buy a hybrid for the first time tend to stay in the hybrid market in the future, and I didn't fully understand until I went on the test drive. But before that, I interviewed one other individual, Josh Morris, a current salesman and experienced mechanic. From the, with the diesel engine versus like a gasoline or a, well, gasoline's in the hybrid engine as well, you, uh, there's a lot more weight to them. Um, everything's heavier, the, the, the block is heavier, the crank's heavier, the pistons and rods are a little heavier. You, you have a lot of weight that you're slinging around back and forth in the engine. and. Um, that creates that torque. You got that, you know, you building up that energy. It's, it's a little harder to stop it and slow it down uh, compared to like a gas engine where everything's really light. That's why you, you know you get a lot more torque out of those engines, especially the low end, because you just have all that momentum just building and building and building. So you're able to create a lot of power, and on top of that, you're able to keep it at a lower RPM. And even though you're getting 40 plus miles to the gallon, you're having to pay for it much more expensive fuel to continue to do that. Whereas with a hybrid, like you said, you're still using the same, uh, very similar gasoline engine. You pull up the pump, you get gasoline, and then you're not using, you're getting just as much fuel economy, if not better, because you're not using that gasoline engine as so, much. So, and a lot of the maintenance and then whatnot required, the requirements are very similar to just a normal gasoline engine. Okay. As far as diesel goes, on. I have had a bit more experience with diesels than hybrids as far as repairs go. Uh, diesel can tend to be a little bit more expensive than gasoline, especially when you get to the turbo aspect of the vehicle, um, as well as uh, injection and things of like that nature. Josh also mentioned that hybrids have one big maintenance cost over a diesel or biodiesel vehicle, which is replacing the battery every six to ten years or roughly every 150,000 miles. After the interviews, Pacelli's Toyota generously allowed me to drive one of their 2014 Prii. This model in particular had the XSP package, which meant it had special gray forged wheels, a ground effects kit, and various XSP badges. I honestly think Toyota did a decent job in making the Prius more cosmetically sporty with this option. After driving the Prius, I can now say I understand why people buy them over and over again. It's because they feel very futuristic. The display on the dash tells you where the power is coming from, whether it would be from the battery, the gas motor, or both. It has battery range information and a futuristic looking shift knob. The regenerative braking system feels different than conventional brakes, and not hearing the familiar hum of the gasoline combustion engine is almost eerie. Sure, it looks like an egg on the outside, but on the inside, by looking at the display, seeing your energy savings, and at times only hearing the quiet whine of the electric motor, you feel like an environmentalist on the same level as Al Gore. Okay, that may be a bit of an exaggeration, but you get my point. I find it most interesting 
that something so aesthetically boring and economically built can bring so many customers huge amounts of passion towards the environment. Unfortunately, some argue that the electric side of the Prius powertrain makes it bad for the environment. Obtaining the precious metals required to build the lithium-ion batteries found in hybrids requires a mining process that is entirely avoided in the production of gas-only cars. And when these batteries wear out, between 70 and 100% of the components in these batteries can be recycled. Whether or not the improved gas mileage that hybrids get deems them less environmentally friendly than a gasoline-powered car is up in the air right now. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Next time we'll look at the technology behind vehicles that use recycled vegetable oil for fuel, and compare it to the technology and emissions of a hybrid and try to decide which is ultimately better for the environment. I'd especially like to thank Michelle Edwards, Josh Morris, and Pacelli's Toyota in Washington, North Carolina for their willingness to help me with this project and allowing me to drive one of their latest Prii.